Today we are at the Brussels Central train station. Uh, we are holding a, an art event uh, about pushbacks at European borders, specifically uh, Turkish Greek border, where pushbacks are be have become systematic. We have um, victims of pushbacks who have been pushed back by Greek border forces uh, back to Turkey, and we are bringing them together with uh, passers-by, and they're talking about their experiences, and also the artists are expressing themselves about. Pushbacks. So we're here uh, to give uh, people who were pushed back from the borders, the Turkish-Greece borders, um, an opportunity to tell something about what uh, happened to them. And uh, we do that through uh, embordering. So this is one of the victims who was pushed back. And she has the opportunity to write down or to, to emborder. So you do it with needle and thread. Um, and to express her feelings of what happened to her. And so you can see here the river, and uh, so they cross it, and here they were pushed back again, back to the Turkish border. Well, uh, we have a table here, and uh, it's a cold border conversation, and we invite people to have a conversation about uh, the pushbacks that are happening in Europe, and uh, we in border um, on the uh, on the on the fabric uh, messages of love and hope and also experiences. Um, and this is a, a message of peace and love, because we should never forget that. This is uh, to get more awareness about the things what are happens on the Ravos River. And we have uh, made a big table, and this table is about hospitality and warmth and exchange from uh, thoughts, but with a pushback we don't have heavy close the doors for these pushbacks so we want to have more awareness for these people and uh, we embroider also a lot of things but not we but a lot of people who are involved in this project and want to do something to express themselves Türkiye'de 17 ay hapis yatmıştım Türkiye'de kalsam 27 ay daha hapis yatacaktım ve aslında hapis yatmak da değil Sokağa çıktığınız zaman insanların e, size karşı bakışı, e, ötekileştirilmeniz, e, yaşama hakkı dahi verilme işi. E, ben üniversite mezunuyum, yüksek lisans mezunuyum, 10 yıl öğretmenlik yaptım. E, bunların hepsini bir kenara itin, e, hamallık bile yaptırma işleri. E, şu kadarını söyleyeyim, sadece öğretmenlikten atıldığım için süt dağıtımı bile yaptırmamışlardı. Süt dağıtımı bile. E, bunları da e, yaşayınca... E, Ya artık Türkiye'nin benim için yaşanılmaz bir yer olduğunu anlamıştım. Ee, maalesef e, ülkeyi terk etmek zorunda kalmıştım. E, 2019 Haziran'ında nehir kenarına e, bir gece yarısı gelip elimizdeki imkanlarla karşıya geçmiştik. Fakat e, resmi sınır görevlileri e, bizleri e, ben ve yanımda bir arkadaşım vardı öğretmen arkadaşım da o da. E, resmi görevliler sınır görevlileri bizleri alıp karakol olmadığını e, düşündüğüm bir yere götürdüler ve orada e, birkaç saat kaldıktan sonra sabaha karşı e, bizi e, tekrar e, geriye e, itmek suretiyle e, hem Yunan resmi e, sınır görevlileri hem de resmi olmayan kar maskeli e, görevliler ki bunların e, sivil olduğunu düşünüyorum ben sivil e, aşırı milliyetçi e, tiplerdi Çünkü davranışlarından, hırçınlıklarından e, bunu anlayabiliyorsunuz. E, politika gereği herhalde Yunan makamları maalesef e, bizlere e, pushback'e maruz bıraktılar ve geri ettiler. E, eğer e, Türk jandarmasına, Türk yetkilisine yakalanmış olsaydım şu anda binlerce e, yakalanan diğer arkadaşlarım gibi şu anda hapishanedeydim. Ee, ve e, belki de farklı işkencelere tekrar maruz kalacaktım. Previously I have volunteered in Greece in the island of Samos and I spoke to lots of migrants and refugees that had experienced pushbacks in the sea. Um, and because I am a student of migration I've been quite aware of the of what is happening at the EU external borders and the externalization policies which the EU are implementing uh, through the agency of Frontex which have become the agency implementing this kind of um, horrible behavior. And I've just been really appalled to see how much impunity has continued for the past two years at least for the mounting pushbacks. And I think uh, it's a, a horrible uh, thing 
pushbacks. Unfortunately, this is the capital of Europe and also the capital of fortress Europe. And as a human being, I really can't understand why certain people are being allowed into the European Union and others are kept out. And it's completely beyond my understanding. So it's policy, it has to do with uh, decision makers being so extremely cold and without any human feeling. And there's probably a lot of economic explanation about uh, behind all this, but uh, for me it's a horrible thing. And we should fight this every day. It's actually shocking to see what's happening at the borders of Europe, to be honest. I mean, I think we just have to all like raise awareness and understand that it's happening and it's all of Europe's responsibility. Like it's happening at Greece, but it, that's just because that's where like a lot of people make their entrance into Europe. Um, and if we want to, like we know that people are coming for legitimate reasons. We know that people um, are coming because they're fleeing, you know, terrible things that we can't relate to. Um, so I think we need to understand that and take a more unified approach and realize that it's up to us to welcome people and to not create this, let this hostile kind of environment continue because no one's winning from it actually. I think at the moment it's a really crucial time for migration in the EU because a lot of uh, media attention has been put on Ukraine and the way that Ukrainian migrants are being treated is very different to the way that other migrants are treated coming into the EU and the EU is giving access, giving asylum, there was a new, uh, the new news that came out that all Ukrainians are able to live in the EU for three years and it's double standards and I would say it's a racist policy that the EU is, is implementing because Ukrainians are white and a lot of the people that come from other countries are non-white and people need to be made aware that, that, not, that everyone has the right to claim asylum, everyone has the right to um, to a, a life free of free of torture, free of war, fr to to live a normal, just human life, and it doesn't matter the colour of your skin, or where you're from, or or who you are.